Before we begin today's broadcast, we would like to take a moment to thank our supporters on Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks, whose support helps make live streams like this possible. If you want to become a patron supporter, head over to Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks today. And now, without further ado, let's begin the show. I am so pleased with how well all of the automation is working now. It makes me so happy. Like, I, when I go, there's literally, there's four buttons here. There's start stream, start recording, midstream outro, and stream, okay? And all I have to do is push those buttons, and it does it all. It does everything for me. It's great. So, if I hit start stream, it mutes the game, it mutes the mic, and it takes you to that intro video. When I hit start recording, it takes us back to this screen, right? Like this layout with my face. Keeps everything muted until the intro video is done. And then when the intro video is done, unmutes the game, unmutes the mic, we're good to go. Uh, when I do the midstream outro, hit a button, it runs the outro video, mutes everything. Uh, it takes us to that countdown video or that uh, stream starting soon video. And then when I hit end stream, it rolls the outro and stops the stream and the recording. It's just, all, it's all fantastic and automated and it's working and it makes me so happy. I'm so happy, Lisa. I'm so glad that I have you as my best friend, and I love Lisa so much. So, let's get started. He's actually talking to Mark during that scene, if I remember correctly. Oh, shrug. Hearts? One of you boys had better drop some hearts, because I need them real bad. I do have potions. As, dis as previously discussed, I don't want to use them. I want to go as far as I can without using potions, and I only want to resort to potions as, like, a last-ditch... Uh, you know, because I want to use them during the, during the boss fights. Oh my gosh, look at this. Can I, can I land that up there? Oh, I did. Oh, it's going to roll off, though. Did you drop something? Oh, there's an explosion behind me. Hey! It worked. Oh, no. And back down we go. Let's not go there yet. Not ready for that. No siree, Bob. Good grief. Hal would donate bits again, but he doesn't have any more bits. Understandable, Hal. Understandable. I can... I can, uh... Oh, that guy came back. That guy came... That guy came back. We got to get over there at some point, I guess. All right. Well, we've unlocked. Yeah. Do we want to go around this thing in like a certain order? We started over here, so I guess we'll go over there next. Let's just get the giant eyeball rolling again. Uh, Gilliam says, "Hey, hey, Gilliam, how are you doing today?" I, we're treating this like the start of a new thing, but this is literally just the uh, a, a resuming of a of a stream that was already going. All I did was get up, go to the bathroom, get some water, uh, I read a text message. I did that, but I don't know if that. Like, does that really qualify like this is a whole new stream? I don't think so. Freaking rupees, baby. Getting loaded. Fat stacks of cash. Okay, so we want to set that down there. What was that? What the heck was that? Hey! Uh, Zevlor Polo? Thank you. I think that's how you say that. Xavier. I'm not stupid, I promise. Thank you for, uh, for following over on Twitch. I appreciate that. All right. Now we have to exercise some extreme patience. Oh, no! Get away from me, Keese. Get away from me. Oh, he dropped a heart, too. I'm almost positive I heard that. Is this going to be something useful? Is this going to be our map? This might be our map, because we haven't gotten a map yet. Oh, a golden skull. A rarity among skull ornaments. Well, it's not useful. It's not the type of skull we need, because we already had one of those. What was the skull that we needed? An ornamental skull. See, that's what we need to be on the lookout for right now. It's ornamental skulls. All right. I guess that heart is gone and we've lost our opportunity to get it. So that kind of was a waste of our time. Not like in a huge way, but in enough of a way that it's a disappointment. I see another chest over here, though. Should we go try our luck? It might be something relevant to our current quest. It's not going to be, but, I mean, the possibility is there. Let's squish this guy first off. Yes. Feed me your hearts. Feed them to me. Ooh, is it going to be another ornamental? I'm hoping it's the map. A bluebird feather. They were just really stretching for things to put in dungeon chests, weren't they? They were like reaching and grabbing in desperation. Like, what can we put in this one? We got too many heart pieces already. I don't know. Put a feather in there. Put a feather. And people will love it. They'll get the feather. They'll have the feather. They might use the feather. What am I going to do with the feather? What am I going to do with it? I guess probably get an upgrade later. I'm sure it's used to upgrade the hero's boots or some such nonsense. We need to be breaking all this tall grass. Maybe we can get some hearts out of it. Uh, definitely rupees, usually, but some hearts would be nice. We're only three hearts down at the moment. Uh, so I'm not too concerned right now. I think we're okay. I guess we have to go deal with that Lizalfos now. There's no way to get around it. We're going to have to go fight him. 
or throw a bomb at him, which is what I'm currently leading toward. I might be abusing the fact that I have bomb flowers now. I am neglecting to buy more or grab more though, and we were just over near some. Can you jump over here? Can't even with you some Link? Link? Look at what I am doing with my controller. Don't play these games with me, boy. Is he just gonna stand there? Oh, he was just out of reach from it. No, no, hold on. Pick that up, 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 throw it. Ah, he's just gonna jump away from it every time. Okay, well, we'll try a different tactic then. Haha, <laughs> what are you gonna do about this? Drone attack! Oh, he's not even bothered by the... Well, let's try a different spot. Let's go for, like, the chest or the arm. He's not He's not even phased by the drone attack. It's not even bothering him. Can we, like, knock him unconscious, though, with this? Stop it. Stop that. Stop, stop, stop taunting me. Fine, we'll go fight him. Oh, dead gummy, we're all out of strength. Oh, this is how we die. <laughs> no, it's fine. We got this. Oh, maybe we got this. I don't know. This guy's freaked me out a bit. Yeah! Uh... Into the lava it goes. Into the lava it goes. What can you do against such reckless hate? Absolutely nothing. Is that another Los Elfos over there? Oh no, these are just some regular guys. Okay, good. We got some Bokoblins down here, guys. We know how to handle that. Bokoblins ain't no problems. You know you know what they say? Uh, that's not a saying. I apologize. Good grief. Chat, you are extremely uninteractive right now. What is going on in your lives? Is there some big world event going on that I don't know about that you're all distracted by? Like, have we finally, like, landed a man on the moon or something? Or, like, put a put a drone on Mars or something? Boy, can you imagine? Someday we might actually have... I mean, I know this might come as a shock to some of you. But I've been keeping up with NASA and what they're doing. And I think that they may actually be able to put a drone on Mars. Or some sort of, like, roving device. That would be freaking cool. I'm having a conversation in a Discord. Oh. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I think I think that we're probably more likely to put like a lander or something on Mars than we are to actually get a man on the moon. I just I can't believe that that's gonna happen, guys. Can you and in our lifetime potentially? It's just crazy to think about. Absolutely crazy to think about. Do I hear that they're thinking about sending that satellite out to look at? Uh... Well, it was bound to happen eventually. It's bound to happen eventually. First death right there. How far back have we been reset? Okay, so that's already been opened. This guy's already been killed. It's not too bad then. It's not too bad. Gosh darn it. This is what I get for joking around about NASA. That was that was a NASA play right there. It's like one does not simply joke about the achievements of NASA. Wow. Well, we know where that's going to get us, so let's just not even bother. Let's just push forward. Let's let's just not even. We don't have to play around with these guys. It's not necessary for us. Can I blow up this wall? Oh, I don't have to. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> What's up? Please excuse me. I'm playing with bombs. Do you think the Bokoblins know much about NASA? My gosh, what a terrible thing for our first death to be. Of course, now, you know, all cards are, uh, what, off the table, on the table? What's the phrase? There's no risk anymore, is there? There's no fear anymore. We can just die as many times as we want to now because we've died once. So what's it matter? We got the dungeon map. Doesn't matter anymore. Oh, there's a lot of chests we're missing apparently. Oh no, those are the ones we've opened. Okay, so I see where we need to go next. And I see Zelda up there in the corner. I forgot to start a countdown again, by the way, guys. So just so you know, that's the thing that's happened again. Lol. I'm at the slots, it's fueling my rampant gambling addiction in Borderlands 3. That's problematic. But, you know, hey, it's just a video game. So as long as you are uh, enjoying yourself, I guess that's all that matters. You know, you can have a, a rampant gambling addiction in a video game. What's the worst that can happen? All right. I think there's nothing more we can uh, glean from this particular cave. Glean? No, I don't think that's right. 
And just throw yourself off of them. We'll, we'll be fine. Let's just get out of here. I came in here and I died to get a map. That's what I died for. And I didn't even need to. All I had to do was get up there and fight some Bokoblins. There was enough hearts up there. We could have been okay. We could have not died. <sighs> I'm just, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed in myself, which is kind of the worst way to be disappointed. All right, where am I going now? Where, 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 what direction am I headed in? Oh, look at that. Oh, I think I see what needs to be done here. Okay, we're going to have to go ram that thing with the ball. You'll see that pin over there? I'm assuming. And then if you look at the map, there's a trail right there. There's also an X right there, which makes me think that maybe we can't go that way yet, and a bird statue. So I, I don't know. We'll figure that one out, because it's definitely not this back here. Does that look like it's connected to this little closed-off room here? That right there? Potentially. Potentially. We don't know. Let's go deal with this guy first off, and then we'll go push this pin and see what happens. Oh, or can we? Can we even get over here? Is this in the way? Oh, hi there, you. Please don't shoot me right now. I'm stuck and I can't move. This is uncalled for aggression. Alright, let's go over here. I don't think we've explored over here completely. This might be our answer. Yeah, let's, we need to fill up on bombs anyway. We're down to two. So regardless, hop in here and grab some more bombs. This is where we fueled up on bombs the first time. If anything, you know, it's like coming full circle. We went on this big adventure and now we've come back home. And mom's here and she's made our favorite pie. And dad's here. He's sitting in his recliner reading his newspaper. Just like the old days. And your sister's in her room. But, like, she's just visiting because she's a grown woman. She's, uh... She's moved out, and everyone's trying to figure out, Link, what are you doing back here, pal? Why have you come back home, Link? What happened? You were doing so well out there. And you can't even bring yourself to explain how you got in the situation you're in right now. All you want is for people to stop asking you these questions. You just want to eat mom's pie. You want to yell at your sister for getting into your business. And you want to you wanna listen to your dad give some sage advice. Dig up some Elden ore. Oh, Link. Link, that's what he wants right now. That's what he's craving. He just wants to go home and listen to his mom, dad, and sister talk. Oh, well. Do I have, like, an empty... Do I? Uh... Hold on. I don't have an empty bottle. But I feel like... I really want to catch this fairy. How do I do that? If I have a bottle out... Oh, hold on. No, no, no. And I scoop it. Hey! We caught a fairy. That's way more useful. Okay, it only replenishes six of our hearts. But if it's in a bottle and we keep it with us, it'll automatically restore us. If we'd gotten this earlier, we would have never had our first and only death so far. Uh, life would be slightly less disappointing right now. Dad gummit. Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to do whatever we gotta do over here. Shrek me. There's a lot of there's a lot of pressure on me right now, guys. There's a lot of pressure on me. So what do we got? We got that thing there. Is there something else we need to blow up? We gotta get that way somehow. Take a look around here. See, it's showing like the passage up there. But how do we get to there? Oh, you know what? Oh. Not what I meant to do, but I didn't know you could... Is this what happens when you open the map when you're in the look mode, I guess? That's pretty cool. Do we need to open up, like, a channel through there to bring all the lava around or something? Or does this just mean that we haven't been in there before? We can't get across there either, and we can't get across here. I don't... Well, we haven't tried. But we can't... Well... See, I can get to here. I bet I know what needs to happen. Let's get back out of here. Let's get back out of here. We can't hit that pin over there because we can't reach it, but we can reach the one on this side, I think. If we go all the way back around. And then, as far as getting over there... See if we could knock that thing over. <laughs> oh, hi. What's up, pal? Sorry, you caught me in the middle of deep contemplation. Uh, if we bring that tower down. I don't know. A little late to say hi, but I had to wait 10 minutes. Hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we turned that on so we don't get randos in the chat just yelling obscenities at me. Um, so, you know, if you want to yell obscenities at me, you have to be very dedicated. You have to wait 10 minutes to do it. 
And uh, most randos who want to yell obscenities don't have that kind of patience. They'll go yell them at someone else. But uh, Xavier, thank you for, for sticking it out and uh, waiting for your opportunity. Welcome to the chat, by the way. How you doing? We're doing some problem solving here in the, the wonderful world of uh, Zelda today. Right on. Okay, well, that got that raised up slightly. And the game's acting like that was a pretty big deal, but we all know that it wasn't. It definitely was not. Can I blow this thing up? If I just put a bomb here, that's not going to do anything. It's not going to do a darn thing. Shrek. So what do I do? Can I do something with my beetle? Oh, I hadn't even considered that. All right, let's send out the drone. <laughs> let's send out the drone and see what we can figure out. Oh, there's a crack in the wall there. That must be what I need to blow up. What's going on over here? There's a chest probably with 20 rupees in it. So nothing worth uh, getting excited about. It's a wooden chest. So, got some bats. Okay. We got to go blow up that wall. That is my current prediction. Let's go give it a try. Thank you, drone. You do good work for us. See how it's talking about our lurkers? It is cool. Yeah, no, look, if you're a lurker, I understand. I've been told before by folks, usually parents, that they're like watching this with their kids or while they're, where they're dealing with their kids. I think that some folks might find it to be somehow calming or relaxing. I'm not sure how. It's just me shouting at fiery bats. But if, look, if, if that's... You know, if you find this to be an ASMR-like experience, or, or like a zen-like... I'm, I'm good. I'm glad. Uh, I don't see it, but I'm not you. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know your circumstances. Can't possibly understand you. Nice. Oh. Okay. Okay, that was a big one. Needed a couple of holes in it. So now I see how we get back around to that other side. We're going to have to go on a journey. Presumably a journey loaded with uh, peril and dangers, but nothing that can't be overcome. We have our trusty slingshot. Can I still control this thing? Because we can knock this guy unconscious. And then we can run him over. Nice. Collect his hearts. Do a little bit of exploration. Oh, I think this is just... It's just a room to like refill on. Ah! 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 It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a horrible trap! Get out of here! It's a room where we can safely fill up on bombs because I got a feeling we're going to need them moving ahead. And hearts. Where were these hearts at like a few minutes ago when I was about to die? Well, we did die. Uh, I shouldn't say about because we definitely did die a horrible, painful death that is still haunting me to this very moment. I'm going to stop talking about the fact that I died soon. But not yet. Not yet. It's still, it's still haunting me. It's still very upsetting. Also, I'm glad to hear that you were doing good there, Xavier. All right, so apparently a single Skyward Strike is going to take this guy down. Oh, yeah, look at that. No, he's still alive. Oh, my gosh. He took it like a champ. Maybe that's in, like, other regions. Maybe they're a little bit tougher here. Dadgummit. It does hurt to see the rupees go, you know? Well? <laughs> We've gone as far as we can, guys. No going forward from this point. No, we got to be missing something. Uh, we'll send out the drone. We'll see what it's around the corner. Hi there, you. Oh, here we go. Looky here. Oh, do you reckon there's going to be like a crystal or something we hit in here and it's going to raise up the lava? Oh my gosh! It's No, it's it's 100 rupees. Or however many that is. I think it is 100. I mean, I'm not complaining by any means. No, goodness gracious. I mean, that's not necessarily a way forward, which is what I was looking for, but that's something. Did y'all see that? There's got to be like a switch or something we can hit. Uh, there's some gears up here. Okay, so I can cut that. Which is raised part of the gate but is not what we need to do to move forward. Can I do something with this guy? Oh, oh, look, you know what? Look at that eye. Look at that very suspicious eye. Never mind. Don't. <laughs> Don't look at the eye. It's in no way suspicious. Am I missing something? 
Do I need to like clog these up so the lava goes away? Fi, what do you need? What do I need to do? I can't believe I am asking you for advice. Yes, Master, what information do you seek? I don't know. Give me a hint. Signs indicate the X marks on the map were added by the previous owner. Designate the locations of interest. I recommend a thorough investigation of these locations when you have the opportunity. Fi, we're literally in the middle of that already. That's not what I needed help with. I gotta figure out how to get this ro- Oh, hold on. Is that another- I found it, guys. I found another- Well, I was gonna say blowhole, but this isn't really a- Well, that was just a comedy of errors there, wasn't it? Uh, here we go. Nice. Do we need to keep an eye out for- Oh, gosh! <sighs> Good lord. Do we need to keep an eye out for more of these? Like, are, are there going to be like a, like, is that one right there? No, there's definitely not one right there. But I don't want to miss any cool hidden secrets because of that, you know? We figured it out, though, everyone. We don't have to panic anymore. We're totally going to make it through this one. We got it. And we're, we've started the world's slowest chase with this guy. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to let him be. I think because he, he's gone back over there and it's no longer, like, my concern. Oh, this guy, though. This guy. No, look, you had that coming, man. You, got, you had that coming. Can't you see I'm in the middle of, like, a game? Ah, oh, dadgummit. We're never even going to get his heart. What a waste. Oh? Freaking... The game needs to learn when I need a rupee and when I need a heart, okay? Come on now. Come on. I think that's all the baddies in this area, though. So do you think we're supposed to fly our drone around to the other side of this thing? Or can we climb up there from here? No, I can't get the heart. And that's the whole reason I fought the guy, was to get the heart. But irony of ironies, can't get it. It's just gone. Or I wonder if I could get it with the uh, with the drone. The drone could probably go down there and grab it. I didn't even think about that. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. Shrek, that was a mistake. Hi, guys. Look, they're terrified of this drone. Oh, they're freaking out. I love it. Here we go. Let's get this gate open. Go back there and do a save, just in case we, we die a horrible death. Yeah, it's gone now. Uh, you're right about that. Shh, shh. I'm so. What? I just saw your username. Screw Z Link. What do you have against Link? What do you got? What do you got against him? What do he ever do to you? He's a good guy. He's just trying to do his thing. He's trying to go on an adventure. He's trying to save a princess. <laughs> Screw Z Link. It's like French Link in particular. That sounds very French. Z Link. Let's do our save. Good grief. What an adventure we've gone on to get to this point. Fantastic. Do we get healed when we do a save at one of these things? No. So what's even the point then? Well, I mean, the point is, so if we die, we come back here naturally. But still, you can, you can, you can, you can expect me to be a little bit angry, okay? It's actually the ship name for Link and Zelda. I don't like in this game because he's so selfish. And he sniffs sailcloths. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That is a thing that happens. Uh, so you hate the Zelda and Link ship. That's weird. I normally like it in most games. Uh, Breath of the Wild is the one I like in the most. I don't think it works in some of them. Like, I don't think in Twilight Princess, Link and Zelda are a thing. I think Link's into that little girl from that village. He's from, well, not little girl, but you know what I mean. That girl that he's got back in that town of his. I think that I, I ship those two. I can't remember what her name is. Astrid or whatever. It's definitely not that. You know. You know the one I'm talking about. The other blonde girl. Or is she a brunette? I can barely remember. Twilight Princess is all a blur to me. But I think in this game, they definitely got a little something something going on. And uh, you're right. He did sniff that sailcloth. He, he had that right up in his nostrils. And Breath of the Wild too. But I mean, who wouldn't want to be with Zelda from Breath of the Wild? That girl is mm, next level. Am I right? You know that I'm right. Don't argue with me. Come here, you. I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you back for all the misery you've caused me. And we're gonna go fight this guy next too. These have not gone well historically, but I think that this time we might have him. And we're gonna do it. Ah, Dad, it without taking any damage. I felt real confident about that at the time. Oh my gosh, we got him, guys. Collapse all around. Wasn't Ruto from Ocarina of Time considered engaged to Link? 
I mean, I think she proposed to him, but I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it was serious or not. Also, that girl needs to wear some clothes. Let me tell you what. She was like, she grew up. Let me tell. Mm. Oof. Oof. That's questionable time. 1994 it was a, it was a different era. Let me tell you. Boom. We've done it, everyone. Hot diggity, we've done it. Y'all ready to go rescue Zelda? Let's go do it. Ilya, that was her name. Was mean, and she's kind of underdeveloped, but she isn't in there enough for me to hate her. Most of the time, I don't bash minor characters. I think that, uh, yes, underdeveloped, but I think that you're supposed to take from it that they've been childhood friends and they've grown up together and maybe there's always been a little something something there and then she goes missing and Link's like, woe is me, my girl. And then him and Zelda have a very business relationship in that game. It's like, we gotta, we gotta stop this Ganon guy. We gotta stop Ganondorf. You know, there's like no hint of romance or any kind of spark or anything. And then Ocarina of Time, they're just children. They're just friends. She's like only in 10 seconds of Majora's Mask. Uh, I get the sense that they're very buddy-buddy in The Wind Waker. I don't think there was any sort of romantic interest there at all. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, in this game, I mean, he, she she teased him with a kiss at the top of that goddess statue before pushing him off. And he did take a big old sniff of that sailcloth. I mean, a girl gives you your sailcloth. You're going to tell me you're not going to take a little whiff of that? Uh, look, maybe that's just me. I don't I don't know. I don't want to make claims in here or anything like that. Where are we going? Okay. So Zelda's there. We need to bypass Zelda and go for whatever's in this chest, because that's going to be the goods. Also, there's a bird statue there. Uh, Shrek Zelda, I'm just here for the treasure. Well, that was like the least impressive trap of all time. Oh, well, that's on me. That is on me. And if this guy... Oh, dead gummit. Yeah, well... That I should not have criticized the trap. That <laughs> that was my mistake. Uh, wait for that to roll by. They're not on a timer, are they? Do I have a, do I have a chance now? Jeez, I'm not someone who goes. Oh, your perfume smells good or something. I mean, I'm not someone into a lot of makeup. Oh, what? This is a very off-subject conversation. I don't know what this has to do with the. Uh, with Zelda. Does Zelda wear a lot of makeup? You're not into a lot of makeup. I know Breath of the Wild, Zelda got that butt. But she's a crybaby? I mean, she's got a lot of pressure on her. Also, we don't say butt here. We say Zelda got back. We don't say that either. Uh, boy, does she got a booty in that game, though. Am I right? Goodness gracious. That's a good question, though. What's your favorite Zelda? How about you, Scrooge Link? <laughs> Who, uh, someone uh, such as yourself, who clearly takes umbrage with a lot of things in these games. Uh, who is your favorite Zelda? Be interested in hearing that. Can I do nothing from here? Is there a reason for me to come up here? Uh, I mean, we're real close to the top. Well, this was fun. I enjoyed this little observation room we found. Let's leave now because this is a waste of our time. I, I'm. I, Good gosh. Come on, Link. Let's be, let's be cautious here. I think what we were really supposed to do here was grab some of these bomb flowers before proceeding. And I, I messed up. Maybe Link and Tetra didn't have too much, but Phantom Hourglass was clearly, expan uh, clearly expanded on that. So, oh, I see what I was supposed to do up there. I see now. It's all making sense. Yeah, I never played Phantom Hourglass or uh, Spirit Tracks. I've got them. And I want to play them. But there's so much to play right now. There's just way too much to play. It's a real struggle. Okay. Do I need to, like, hold that for a while to, like, time its explosion better? Yeah, because that just went right on down, didn't it? Come on now, you. Thank you. Okay, we got a safe space there to hide in. About the perfume thing, I was comparing myself to Link and how I react to smelling somebody's perfume or something compared to how he reacts to smelling Zelda's perfume. I don't know. I think my favorite Zelda is Twilight Princess, both for game and character. Okay. 
I can respect that. It's a good choice. It's a very good choice. Yeah, I'm not the type of guy who's going to, like, awkwardly sniff a girl's hair. Or, um, or like, her neck if she's wearing perfume. Because I'm not, like, a freaking weirdo. But, uh, I do like things that smell nice. I'll say that and leave it there. You know, I like I like things that smell, smell nice, so. I like girls that smell good. Um, Reese... Have you ever played Super Paper Mario? Uh, I've never played... Look, are you talking about Paper Mario on the Wii? Because I've got it. I've never played it. I've never played Mario RPG. I've never played Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Never played any of those. Uh, I played Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That was a fun game. On the 3DS, the remake. I enjoyed that immensely. And uh, I'd love to get back into that. No, yeah, I like the smell of flowers. and I like the smell of food. Uh, all of those things that you just said, I'm in 100% agreement with. I love, uh, but I, I mean, I also like when girls, oh, this is going to sound weird no matter how I say this. Guys, you can't put me through this. I, I like a nice perfume, okay? I'll say that. But I'm not going to go, like, rub my head all up in a girl's neck like, oh, I'm yours. Because I'm not, I don't, I'm not like that. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, and I'm definitely not going to smell her cell cloth in front of her, that's for sure. Good grief. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh! It's this one! I've, I've seen Indiana Jones. I know what's going on here. Boom! Good, smooth action set piece. I dug it. I didn't die, so I like it all the more. Let's go do the thing. Julie! Do the thing! Oh. Why was that necessary? I thought it was going to start spewing out lava again so I wouldn't be able to retreat. You should stream Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario. It's awesome. It's Mario with the best plot ever. What's it on? Like, what, what uh, system is it on? Because I might be able to make that happen. Be open to it. Um. Uh, let's see. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, here we go. That's roughly it right there. Take it, please. Please, come on. It's close enough. Thank you. Super Paper Mario is pretty good, though I hate Tippy or whatever the butterfly's name is. <laughs> Tippy, is she sort of like the... the phi of the game? God damn it. I keep putting these lids on tighter than I can take them off because my hands get all sweaty when I play video games because I'm like a... a nerd. It's on the Wii? What do I have on the Wii? Do I have that? Is that what I've got on the Wii? That's probably the one I've got on the Wii then. Oh yeah, it's up there on the shelf. Super Paper Mario. I have it. I own it. It's probably... It's probably... Can I go to the Wii menu? Or is that going to close the game? I don't want to close the game. It's probably on the Wii though. I probably got it on here. Halfway through the game, I don't remember her talking as much as Fi, but she's more sassy than Fi. I like a sassy character, but then again, that might just be because my life is full of sassy women and I've been conditioned to it. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, I know this boss fight. It's all coming together. I'm starting to remember where this is going and I'm not happy about it. Not happy about it at all. I did not die on this boss fight, but I remember this boss fight just taking a long time. Master, I detect Zelda's aura in the surrounding area. I detect an especially strong reaction from this chain. I cal calculate the probability that Zelda was, Zelda was bound by it recently at 95%. I surmise Zelda was somehow able to escape and proceed along this path. I suggest we continue with all possible speed. Yeah, thanks, Fi. I could have used... Like, I could have put those clues together myself, but... Thank you. This one's terrible, guys. It's kind of a Midna of super paper. <laughs> There's a dude with a dapper hat and a monocle... That's the right one. <laughs> I can only see the spine from here, but the spine says Super Paper Mario, so. Garahim, my man! Oh, man, how you doing? I like my hair. How you doing? Oh, it's you. Let me see. No, that's not it. This is so very embarrassing, but I seem to be at a loss for your name. Not that it matters, really. To tell the truth, I'm feeling a bit frustrated, and right now, I just need someone to vent to. 
I heard my underlings had finally captured the Spirit Maiden, so of course I rushed over here. What can I say? I was excited, flustered even. But what did I find when I arrived? That agent of the goddess. She had once again... You see, what I'm trying to say is... That goddess-serving dog escaped with the girl! I must have the spirit maiden in order to resurrect my master. I must have her! I got a little carried away there, didn't I? I don't deal well with complications to plans I've laid out so carefully. It's a character flaw of mine. Ah, but something good can still come from this day. I've had all this bottled up anger smoldering inside me and now I can release it. There's someone special I'd like you to meet. Oh, don't be shy. I need to vent all this unhealthy anger and your agony is such a great stress reliever. It won't take more than a few moments with my friend before you're charred to a satisfying crisp. And let me tell you, that will put a spring in my step. Well, here we go, guys. This thing is flashing a lot. I don't know if that means it's about to die. Maybe that's normal. I don't... We'll find out. If it dies in the middle of this, that would be pretty... Pretty disappointing. I have some batteries on the charger. I'd have to go grab them real fast. Get ready, guys. Here we go. <laughs> That's not exactly what I meant to do. I thought he was going to start... Yeah, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. And then he does a little bit of an explosion, and we come up here and we whack his eyeball. Like, ah, it's kind of hard to get his eyeball when he's only got, like, the one sore spot. So now we run away. You can kind of see why this one isn't so great. This is sort of the whole boss fight, just what you're seeing right now. Um, eventually, we have to go to the top and get more bombs. It's not a bad boss fight. I should say it's not a bad one. I just remember not quite understanding what I was supposed to be doing the first time I played this. And so it took a while. Like a lot of... Uh, oh, he's... Br what? Ah, dead gummit. I could have gotten another one in on him. Please go off. Oh, wow. He wasn't even phased by that. Oh, get up, Link. Get up, Link. Get up, Link. Get running. Get running. Get... Oh, Link. What was that? What even happened just then? Come on, pal. Come on, pal. Let's put that away. Store that one for a rainy day. Just waggle my controller around like a madman and run. Oh, 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 okay, I see what you're gonna do now. Nah, no, that's fine. That's... I wasn't in the middle of a dastardly plan to kill you or anything. This is fine, yeah, no, no, please, by all means. Continue with what it is you're doing. I'm all out of bombs anyway. So I gotta come up here and collect some. Ah, we, we're not in any rush, are we? You guys in any rush? Let's just spend some time collecting bombs. <laughs> we should be able to finish it once we get a full stock. Oh, is he coming back up yet? No, okay. Yeah, here he comes. Hi there, you. Downhill he goes. No, that's not what I meant to do. Eh, everything's going downhill in a hurry. I actually tried to dodge out of the way of that. Just so we're clear. I just did it wrong. <laughs> oh, gosh. I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have been so sassy about it. Now I'm paying the price for my sass. Come on over here. Come on. Dad gummit. This freaking eye. This freaking eye. Shrek it. Come on up here. Come on up here, pal. Okay, yeah, blow your fire at me. See if I care. 
Well, okay. I care now. Oh my gosh, he's really persistent on this, isn't he? Am I safe over here? Yeah, he can't even reach me from here. Okay, see, if I just come up here, he will hit a bomb and he will roll back down. So, like, am I really at any risk? Ooh, I did not mean to have a bomb explode right there, but here we are. This is what's happening. All right, he's, like, completely naked now. We should be able to just, like, whack him till he's dead. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I see. I see how it'd be. Come on. Have a bomb, pal. Oh, I'm all out. I'm all out of bombs again. Dad gummit. I gotta stop getting cocky about this. Gotta stop getting cocky about this. Is he gonna try to drop his body on top of me? Is that... No, it's not going to happen. He's just going to go back up to the top and roll down. All right, let's restock completely on bombs before we do this again. Let's make sure that when we face him, nothing stands between him and death. Let's make sure when we face him again, he's human. Just like Harry did with Voldemort that one time. You remember that? Dadgummit, stop it. Stop it. Pick it up. Dadgummit, put it away. Put it away. What's happening? Oh, he's just doing his thing again. All right, we're not fully stocked up, but I'm ready for this to end. This has become like a stressful event for me. All right, he's going to try to blow fire again. Can I get this over there close enough? No, I can't. Just go on up there. Just go on. I'll wait for you here. I'll wait for you here. Oy vey. Okay. Hi. Let's end this, pal. Me and you. Let's let's finish this the same way we started it, Tom. Together. Dad gummit, he's his eye. Dad gummit. Don't dad gummit. Just just waggle that controller around. What could go wrong? I gotta stop doing that. I gotta like control my swings like an intelligent human being. Also, I'm sorry I'm not reading the chat. I'll get back to it in a second. I really want to see this guy defeated, you know? Oh my gosh! Hit the eye! Hit the darn eye! Ah! Oh. Oh. Are you excited for Link's Awakening? I wonder if it'll be uh, surpassed Twilight Princess as my favorite Zelda game. I think they fix a lot of the problems with the original Link's Awakening. Yeah, you know, it's... um. I'm excited about it. I've never played it before. I've got a Game Boy Color. So if I knew what games were good as a kid, I could have bought Link's Awakening DX uh, on the Game Boy Color. But I didn't know about what games were good as a kid. So I just bought things like the Shrek game, and the Land Before Time, and the Tarzan, and the Lion King, and the Lego racing game, and the Stuart Little game. That's my entire Game Boy Color collection up there on a shelf. Hey, that Tarzan game and that Lion King game are both pretty good. I like them both. I'm not complaining. Lion King one is, is solid. What I didn't expect from the Lion King one, because I don't think it mentions it on the packaging. I didn't read the packaging. But on the front, it just looks like it's the first Lion King game. So you finish the game, you defeat Scar and all that, and then suddenly you're at the start of the Lion King 2? And that's just happening? It's pretty great. You know, it's very unexpected. Uh, so you get to play through the entire second game, and it's, it's good. I think you'll love Link's Awakening. It's different, but very interesting. Unfortunately, I do know, like, the story and the twists of Link's Awakening. Uh, just from ingesting Zelda content. But, so that's not going to be, you know, unfortunately, that's, that's, I won't say ruined for me. Because it's not like someone came up on the street, grabbed my face, and said, listen to these spoilers. But, um, yeah. I don't know, if I'd known they were coming out with the remake two years ago. Maybe I would have not ingested so much Zelda content and spoiled it for me, but here we are. I think it's going to be good either way because I really only know the big story beats, not the smaller ones. Link! I got to do my Zelda voice now because Zelda's back. I can't remember what it was. I think it was just like that. Link! You cannot go to him, your grace. Remember what we discussed. 
Restrain yourself. Focus on the task at hand. <laughs> I have to go. I'm sorry, Link. We can't explain any of it to you, so you're going to have to keep chasing me around the world. I know it makes things really difficult. I know it kind of sucks. I know it would make more sense if I just told you what was going on, but I'm just going to walk into this portal instead. Goodbye, Link. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Demise, though. It took you far too long to get here. Looking at you, I fear the goddess is mistaken in her choice of agents. If this failure is any indication, you have no hope of defending her grace from those who seek to assail her. Do my words anger you, boy? Do my words sting? Let them. If I had not come when I did, your Zelda would already have fallen into the hands of the enemy. The truth of it is you were late. You were late and you failed to protect her. Jeez, that's harsh. I sent Zelda ahead to learn more of the fate in which she is destined to play a part. Listen well, Chosen One. If you wish to be of help to her grace, you must summon a shard of courage and face the trials laid out before you. Only when you have conquered the trials will you be of use to Zelda. No sooner. Am I understood? No! You're not understood. You should have, you could have given me more information than that. You could have just filled me in on everything. There's no reason to leave me in the dark. You're just going to make me run around the land confused with that very sad look on my face. Kind of a sad, angry... Like, you can tell he's mad, but you just want to go up and hug him because you can tell he's mad because of things that have been done wrong to the lad. The, the lad has had things done wrong to him. you got to feel for him in this moment. All right. Fi comes out and tells me to Skyward Strike this thing. This looks an awful lot like a healing item in a Star Wars game I played once in the Dreamcast. Boy, that was a good game. I don't think I ever... I never beat it. I got pretty far a few times. But the discs always went bad. I had two different discs, and they both went bad after a while. Real weird. I think it's available on the PlayStation. I should probably get and play it someday and actually finish it. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate it for you. From the edges of time, I guide you. I love this track. This is one of my favorite Zelda tracks. Uh, I guide you. The one destined to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds has passed through the earth's spring and makes her way to a faded place. The perched desert of Lanayru. Parched, I should say. That is where the chosen will pass through the gate of time into a distant world. Hey, we got the amber tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. That's that determined look I want to see. <laughs> Do you ever just look and see the ghost of your love standing in front of you? Oh, that's just a me and Link thing? Okay, you're right. I should probably go talk to like a doctor or psychiatrist or something. Huh? Oh. Snap, there it goes, happening again, jeez. Master Link, it appears Zelda has cleansed herself in the waters of this fountain. Based on the information from the message I just imparted, I project she's traveling to a region known as Lanayru. If you transport this tablet back to the statue in Skyloft, a new column of light will appear that will allow you to travel to the Lanayru region. I suggest you return at once to Skyloft and then set out for Lanayru re the Lanayru region. Yeah, you're probably right. That would be the wise thing to do, I suppose. I guess I'll go hop on that. And this means, of course, most importantly, that we have a ton of new side quests that we can go do uh, up in Skyloft. And we have some more goddess cubes we can go track down. The next stream is going to be a blast. We're not leaving yet, though. Not just yet. No, yeah, well, we're, we're leaving, like, the ground. I'm not, what I mean is we're not ending the stream just yet. Just so we're clear, we're not, we're not done here yet. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. 
Okay, because we're going to be going a little bit longer. What time is it? 9.30? I feel like we went pretty late last night. How, how long were we streaming for? Is there anyone here that was there last night? I mean, I know we got some lurkers. But, um, good gosh. I feel like we were up till... We weren't streaming till 11 o'clock, were we? Is that my imagination? That's probably my imagination. It is very different, that's right. Okay, let's see if it actually drops us off by the bazaar. Okay. I'll give it that it did. What I don't like about this game is the version of Link and Zelda. The game keeps hammering in your head how much Link and Zelda care for each other. I mean, I, I like it. Haranda says I love the story of this game. Yeah, I do too. It's one of my favorites for sure. Um, but then again, this is one of my favorite games, flawed though it might be. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite Zelda games. But as I've said before, that's probably based more so on the personal experience that I had the first time I played this game. You know, I've, I've never want to get into details ever, but I was, I was going through a pretty, a pretty tough time. And I really enjoyed coming home and just playing this game after work every day. Uh, it was good for me, I think. So, all right. I don't know which quests are available now that we're back up here. I'm not sure. Uh, we did all of the ones available to us previously. So I guess we can just go poke around and see what's open. See if we can find someone with something above their heads. You don't have a quest for me yet, I see. Uh, what was that other dude's name that we determined probably had a quest for us? I forgot. Not Bug Boy. It wasn't Bug Boy. Bug Boy's back at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Got some instructors. None of them... Prop, uh, I guess I could just check and see which quests are available to us right now. Is this the bath? Yeah. Why did I come up here? It's all instructors and girls. I think all the guys that have quests are downstairs anyway. This is a waste of my efforts. It's the guy that lives next to Link, isn't it, that has a quest? Gross. Friggin' gross. Do we want to check on Gross? I wonder if Gruce is doing okay. I know it's pretty... He's been going through some tough times. Hey, Gruce. How you doing? Where's Zelda going off to? I can't stand it anymore. Oh, it's Gruce. Rip. You gotta feel bad for the guy. Can we steal Gruce's stuff? No, I know I shouldn't be going through other people's permission, but it's Gruce's... Do you have a chicken in there? I saw a stuffed chicken. That's my face on a punching bag. That is what that is. That is... I mean, it's crudely drawn, but it is definitely my face. Uh, he's got, what is this, a ruler? What are you measuring with that there? I don't want to know, actually. A gigantic feather. He probably plucked that off of someone else's bird. This Groose is a weird guy. He's a weird dude. All right, Groose. Shrek you. Let's go talk to someone else. Uh, I think Stritch or whatever is the guy that's back at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Uh, where is my friend? The one that lives in the room across from me that's real scrawny. That right here? Fledge. That's the guy. Doesn't he? There's a quest in the game. I know there's a quest in the game where he wants to work out and get buffed to impress a girl. But I can't remember at what part in the game that quest line becomes available. I, know, I might just look up what available quest lines there are. Because I don't want to spend, like, uh... Hours running around here just looking for people with speech boxes above their heads. I don't think that would be very interesting. Do we have anything that we need to do here? Or can we just... Oh, you know what? We should... Pro you know what I just realized? New quests will probably unlock once we've gone to the big goddess statue. And we've turned in that tablet. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that's on me, everyone. That's on me. Oh, here he is. Here's my boy. What's up, dude? I still haven't seen any sign of Kukia, Link. Are you really looking for her? What? She's safe? That's a huge relief. I'm so glad you tracked her down, Link. I knew you'd do it. Yeah, that's the that's the little wuss that wants to get, like, buff to impress a girl. Which, I mean, what guy hasn't tried to do that at least four or five times in their life? Uh, we'll come back to him. I think we gotta go place this thing in the pedestal and do the whoosh. Was that descriptive enough? Did everyone understand what I was trying to say there? You know, put the thing in the, the, the wiki and you do the whoosh. Final piece of the tablet. Here we go. Don't 
Don't we have to go inside of a giant cloud twister and ride a leviathan or something like that at some point? Is that like a fever dream that I had? I have confirmed the location of a third opening in the cloud barrier in the sky to the southwest. It will allow you to reach a new area on the surface. I suggest going there as soon as you are suitably prepared. Yeah, okay, thanks, Fi. I'll hop on that first chance I get. As soon as I find me some side quests. Gonna give me some gratitude crystals. These people need to start showing Link some more gratitude. I mean, think about everything he's done for them. And what have they done for him? What have they done for him? Absolutely nothing. Say it again, y'all. I mean, you know, aside from, like, give me all of my gear and support. and They're charging me for everything, though. Like, I gotta rescue Zelda or it's the end of the world. You could at least give me, like, a free shield upgrade or something for crying out loud. All right, I'm gonna do a save here. And, uh... I'm gonna go... <laughs> uh, maybe nobody's showing gratitude because Link is selfish and clingy? I mean, I don't see that. I don't see that at all. Screws a Link. You've got a real issue with Link and Zelda, don't you? Fairy tale cliche. Well, um, thank you folks for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed it. This is a bit shorter than the last stream, but I also stayed up till like one in the morning last night, and that was very bad for me. So I'm going to go to bed, <laughs> and I'll see you all again. Hopefully we can start sooner tomorrow if we do a stream again tomorrow. I have to keep starting a little, little late because there's always something I need to tweak or set up or get working right. Uh, and, I, and I'd rather that not be the case. But um, hopefully you've enjoyed this. You can catch the archives over on the YouTubes. And uh, shout out to patron supporters. Y'all are the bomb. Shout out to all the lurkers. Y'all are great too. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us during this live stream. If you enjoyed it, please share it with a friend or loved one. They'll enjoy it as well, and thank you are really cool for watching it. Also, big thanks to our patron supporters. Check out the link in the description, or head to patreon.com slash howdyfolks to find out how you can become a patron or executive producer. Until next time, thank you folks for watching, God bless you, and we'll see you later.